Natasha, I wanted to start with you first. It's such a testament to the entire cast and, and the trust that you've built with the writer's room that they are able to bring so many impactful stories to life with so much care. And I think more so than any other character on this show, they've thrown so much at Haley. What was your reaction when you initially read her journey in season two? And how did you prepare to tackle that arc? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, I I really love sinking my teeth into roles that are far from who I am and what I, my personal um, experience. So uh, we had a, the interesting thing about Sky High 2 is we don't get all of the episodes all at once. Like we, no, all mm. the scripts aren't all written and um, accessible for us. And so we get kind of two scripts at a time. And then throughout the season, we're like finding out what's happening as we're filming. But we do, with that being said, have a one-on-one -on -one with Julie, our incredible showrunner and, and creator of this whole magic um, before we start filming and she'll tell us the arc and what our character's gonna go through. And so that meeting with Julie was was very fun and very exciting when she was kind of telling me the journey that Haley was gonna be going through. And I immediately started kind of like, you know, figuring out how I wanted to to portray that and, and you know, do it in a real raw and authentic way that was, um, you know, equally heartbreaking, but also inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it was, I had a lot of fun with it. It was, it was, um, you know, obviously pretty heavy and emotional and I can't count how many times I was crying this season. Um, but it was, um, yeah, I think it was important, an important story to tell. And um, yeah, it was, it was inspiring in that she finally does come to terms with everything and finally does, yeah. you know, accept and acknowledge all of these past traumas that she's been, you know, carrying and, and that have been weighing her down and that she's been pushing down for, for all this time. So it was a really beautiful and inspiring thing to, you know, finally be able to, yeah, um, face those head on and, and yeah. So beautiful to see at the end of the season where she asked for help too. And you know, Morgan, so much of Crystal's arc this season is about bringing her whole self to work and that struggling to find that balance, which you brought so much nuance to. As an actress who always brings so much of herself to her craft and to her characters, how did you create this space for yourself to dive into that arc and that contrast? Yeah, I think um, what Crystal's going through is it's almost opposite to uh, Natasha and Haley's contrast. It's very personal and it it felt like it was reflecting a lot of my personal life onto to screen as well when you deal with identity and you deal with an industry that doesn't always uh see the whole you and it doesn't feel like you can always bring your full self to a field um and what i i like about this season is that she's really struggling with self and identity and she's uh finding her way of navigating that alongside Dr. Yana and realizes that, you know, Dr. Yana is also kind of going through a similar thing as well. And they can kind of bond over that and realize that they're a lot similar than they are different. And I think Dr. Yana is also a person that is um, a, a big mentor to, to Crystal. Yeah. And even though she doesn't necessarily have the same points of view, because, you know, the field can get to you, um, and kind of weigh you down and make you second guess yourself. I think that Crystal really starts to put her foot down and says, no, I'm going to be myself and yeah. I'm not going to let anybody um, tell me otherwise, whether it's a field I want to be in or not, you know, it's either they take me or they don't. Um, but it takes a little while to get there for her. Um, obviously there's some ups and downs with that too. Um, but I think, they really did find um, with the writing and for the character, a really good balance um, between losing yourself and finding yourself again. I feel like it's so satisfying for viewers to watch as well. And Natasha in a series where everything is so high stakes, it's really refreshing to see those lighthearted moments where these characters are able to live their lives outside of work and kind of let their hair down. How fun is it for you to bring that levity into this series and get to play in all those different spaces? And do you have a favorite adventure that Haley went on this season? Yeah, it's so much fun. Honestly, you know, and we're so lucky we say this all the time. What a great, you know, group of people we get the pleasure of working with every day. Our cast is truly the best bunch of humans and we all get along so well. So in those scenes, you know, where we're all, you know, off duty and hanging out, it's it's truly a reflection of, you know, some of our real friendships, which is which is a treat and feels um 
really fun living in those moments on, on camera. Um, and my favorite adventure that Haley went on, oh my gosh, we had so many more. One that comes to mind is when we were like, we, one of our first days of shooting, we were snowshoeing. Um, mm. Oh yeah. It was yeah. fun, it was both of our first times snowshoeing. And so it kind of took a minute to get the footing. We were like, <laughs> and it was, I felt like I had two left feet and it was hilarious. Um, and then, yeah, what else? We had a new, um, I guess this isn't really like off duty stuff, but we had a new uh, plane this year with a new hydraulic rig. And so like the plane actually did move, like move. Whereas in season one, they would use camera angles and we would sort of lean and like, cool. but uh, this year it was a lot more real and authentic as the plane would actually move and shake, which added a whole new element of um, adventure. And also, you know, was helpful during those scenes to just really be in it and feeling, feeling the things. Um, so yeah, those are two things that off the top of my head come to mind that were fun, uh, fun additions this year. Yeah, definitely. And Morgan, like you were just saying, you know, Dr. Noah really takes Crystal under her wing and becomes a mentor to her. Who are the women in your own life who've shown up for you in a similar way? Did you channel any of them into that dynamic? Oh, what a great question. Um, yeah, I mean, all of the women in my life are such powerhouses. And, you know, my mom and my grandma, I look up to, uh, so much and they have sacrificed everything in their life for me to be here and do what I do um you know my mom grew up extremely poor in the Philippines and my grandma you know went through a lot of trauma with residential school so I think like channeling these women who have been through so much mm. um and have put their heart on the line for everything that they do in life just for me to be here and to have my dream um, is everything to me. So I think with Dr. Yana being a mentor and everything that she's been through in life as well um, is really reflected in, in all of the, the women in my life and everything that they've given to whatever they do, like whatever field they're in or to just my personal life, they've given all of themselves. So I, I really see that, that similarity between Dr. Yana and those women. Yeah. yeah, and you brought that to your performance. And this is a question for the both of you, but I love the friendship that's formed between your two characters and they're always uplifting one another. And you've been able to bring your off-screen dynamic to that because you two are such good friends. What's one fun fact that fans would be surprised to learn about your co-star? Oh, that's a great <laughs> question. Okay. Um, one More fact for... Oh, just like a random fact about each other? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I always make fun of Natasha because, okay, um, because she finishes drinks so fast <laughs> and like I will be sipping my drink and will not even be halfway done and hers is like fully done. And that's like for everything, like your smoothies, coffee. I don't know, coffee, everything, like so fast and I wish I could drink it that fast because I'll mine will sit for hours and I can't <laughs> I can't finish it <laughs> that's so funny um and very true oh my gosh Morgan what is oh okay here's one Morgan is an excellent tarot card reader um mm. she is so talented and reads and it's so accurate and it's, she's so passionate about it and like everything has come true. And she, yeah. So that's one of my favorite things about Morgan is uh, her, her tarot card abilities. <laughs> Those are two great facts. Ours are very I, different. I, yeah, very different. <laughs> I got one final question for the both of you. There's so many different possibilities where this series could go. If we're lucky enough to get a third season, is there an aspect of your character that you would love to dive deeper into or a relationship dynamic that you want to explore more? Wow. I mean, I'm just excited, you know, fingers crossed, if there is a third season to see what the world that Julie creates for, for us and for, for Haley, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I I didn't see the Weezer Haley um relationship mm -hmm. happening. So the fact that that happened and it was so fun to play with, and I think it read really well and was such a beautiful um relationship of two people 
hurting, coming together and loving each other and supporting each other. Um, I think that was beautiful. So yeah, I don't know, like I wouldn't be able to, I'm just excited to see what, what other surprises they have in store for us for next season, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know where Julie's going to take it. So <laughs> we, we will see if there's one character who Crystal didn't have any interactions with, which is um, Sydney, uh mm. coon's character so steph um so i'd like to maybe see them together at some point just to you know it did it, there wasn't many scenes together at all yeah maybe like so, a girl group like a girl yeah, group, like a girl mm. group. A girls night you know yeah something like that like the yeah. yeah the bachelorette from first season yeah like that, you know yeah. <laughs> girls, night out. girls night out yeah 